I learned how to draw a llama too, but I didn't take a picture of the llama. I gave it to some to other friends though. <laughs> so, um, my least favorite animal. I just figured I'd go ahead and tell y'all. I don't know if I told y'all about what happened to me when I was in first grade. I don't like German Shepherds because I was bit by one when I was in the first grade. Um, my neighbor was out throwing the ball across the street and I said, can I come see Zeke? And she was like, sure. So I started to go across the street. Um, this car starts to come, so I start to run and the dog came and attacked me. So, since then, I just have had a fear of German Shepherds and just don't like them. And someone doesn't agree with me. <laughs> they say, you don't like that one. It's like, I don't like any German Shepherd. Even if they slightly resemble a German Shepherd, I'm not going to go near. <laughs> so, what is a country you've always dreamed of visiting? Well, I've dreamed of going back to Romania. I'm not sure if the person wanted to know a country that I've never been to, but I have dreamed of going back to Romania. I really miss all the people there. All the kids that I would hang out with. So, I've dreamed of going back there. Another place I have sort of thought would be cool would be going to England or Paris, France, because I know Paris they have that bridge with all the locks and they've also got the Eiffel Tower, so France or England. So, those are countries that I think would be fun to go to. What is your favorite memory? I have like two videos on memories. If y'all want more memories, I can do more. So let me know in the comments below. Could ask God one question, what would it be? It would have to be a question to ask before I die, I think. And I think I would ask God why, because sometimes I just still don't see my purpose. And I don't see why I have to go through so much pain, and why it has to be me. Because it's not just physical pain, there's a lot of emotional pain that goes with it. I told a million people, so I don't mind telling y'all. Basically, when I was 16, 17, 18 years old, I started having these crazy dreams about the future. Things a 16, 17, 18 year old should not have to worry about is whether or not they're going to have children. Well, considering I had myotonic dystrophy and there's a 50% chance of it being passed down to each child, that was going through my head. And I have been through so much pain in my life. And it gets worse with each generation. I cannot willingly bring a child into this world knowing that they will be in more pain than I have been in. So, do I want kids? Yes. But I have decided that I will. God has shown me that what I need to do is adoption and foster. Um, everyone loves to have a child of their own. And I'm not going to talk too much about it because I'll get emotional. That's part of the emotional pain that I get in sometimes. But I just can't willingly do it. So. But there are plenty of children who do not have homes that need a good home. So I'd love to be that. 
place for them to come home to. Okay, what do you like to do in your free time? Watch Hallmark movies. I really love the Hallmark mystery movies. Um, I like to arm it and crochet. Sometimes I like to shop. My favorite store is the Hallmark store. <laughs> Y'all know I love Hallmark Channel. Oh, organize. I like to do that for fun. Except my room is a mess right now, so it doesn't make much sense. <laughs> but I do like to organize. Just the feeling of everything being organized is nice. <laughs> um, my favorite movie right now is probably While You Were Sleeping. If you haven't seen it, you need to see it. I highly recommend it. I mean, there are lots of good movies. Pride and Prejudice is another one that's really good. The two and a half hour version ones. So. What are qualities you look for in a future husband? I'm not going to give y'all everything because I don't want the person to be watching this and try to meet all these qualities. I want the person to genuinely have this. They have to be a Christian. I will not date anyone who is not. Must be a Christian. Number two, I want them to be someone who is funny, can make me laugh, which is hard to do. I'm, I don't laugh very often. I love to laugh. When I'm tired, I laugh so much that I can't stop. So someone who can make me laugh is something else I want. And then the third quality I will tell y'all is I want them to be okay with my myofemic dystrophy and I do not want them it to hold them back. Um, I don't want them to view me differently because of it. I want them to treat me like a normal person, but I also want them to be there when I need them to be there. When I can't do something on my own. So, those are just three qualities. Because I... And I mean, I told y'all about adoption. They're gonna have to be okay with that, too. Um, one more question that my uncle asked me. Is all fair and phased in it with something like that? And I told him, with the Warren family, yes, it's always fair. I might be a little cruel at times, but I can't be nice all the time. I'll actually show y'all something from senior year of high school. A banquet every year that they put on for the seniors, and I guess they I said this at some point. <laughs> it's my favorite game. I consider it a Warren family game. So. I think that's all the questions I had from y'all. At least those are the only ones I wrote down. <laughs> if I didn't answer a question that you want to know, comment down below and I will. I can even answer a few questions at the end of the upcoming video. So, hope y'all enjoy and.